What's up guys? Colton Lindsay here with a skill set Wednesday. One of the skill sets I want to talk today is a question that you could use in no matter what sales business you're in. Particularly those that are following me that are real estate agents. I use this in my real estate sales business all the time. See, a close is just a natural ending to an amazing conversation. And when you can use the words from your presentation that you've prepared, and for real estate agents, go to fearlessagent.com to make sure that you're learning the fearless agent listing presentation that me and my entire team uses and that we've used for the last 11 years to help me grow my business. Okay, but there's one question in here. And if you're not a real estate agent, you can tailor this question to work for your sales business as well. But for me, towards the end of the presentation, when they're sold on me, I gotta make sure that they're tied into me, right? So there's a few rules when it comes to dealing with buyers and sellers, you know, going along the working process. Especially with a seller, the rule is you're never gonna talk about you and what you do until they're sold on even using a realtor in the first place. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. Once they are open to the idea of using a realtor, right? Hence, why some people are for sale by owners. You have to overcome that hurdle, right? But a lot of people, they're a little bit more sane. They want to work with a realtor. So you got to sell them on yourself. And guess what? It's not even you that they care about. It's themselves. So you got to go through the probing and fear of loss questions. You can learn. I recommend reading the book, uh, Spin Selling. It'll problem stack. See, most people are going to take more action when they know they're going to lose something versus when they have the possibility of gaining something. Got it? And most salespeople, they're selling on features and benefits. We've got to sell on fear of loss. But you move further along once they're sold on you to the pricing and pricing strategy. And then after that, you can go into looking for a close. I use the question. Very, very simple. Write this down. In a nutshell, this is my philosophy to get you top dollar. This is definitely what you're looking for. And they're going to say yes or no. And that's where you can move in for the close. I've shared this with you guys time and time again. Is But you get really, really clear and say, is, and this is, the, this is the best part of it, is this definitely what you're looking for. And if it is, boom, you go in, you get the appointment, you get the SIGI, you get the sell, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, share. Hope you guys learned something today. We'll see ya. Here's the words that you use to get the appointment. Hi, this is Colton Lindsay with fearlessagent.com. I was just, my records indicate uh, that your house is for sale by owner. Is that true? They're gonna say yes. Awesome, so you get them to say yes. That's the goal.